Good morning. How are you all doing out there? This is Jennifer with Sweet Home California, and I just saw something new on uh, my YouTube when I logged in. It said, uh, go to, here, I'm going to share my screen with you. It says up here at the top, new creator demographics now in settings. Voluntarily provide information about yourself to help YouTube understand the creator and artist community better. So let's see what this is all about. Go to Creator Demographics. And right here under Settings is the De Creator Demographics tab. It says, Help make YouTube more inclusive. Help us better understand the race, ethnicity, gender, and sexual orientation representation of creator and artist communities on YouTube. Uh, it says, providing this information is optional. You may delete your answers anytime. The information you provide will not be used to impact your contents or channel's performance in YouTube systems. Let's learn more. So it says it um, opened way back in March, but I didn't see it until now. Completely voluntary for US-based artists. The survey can be found um, at that link. And apparently all they consider as being inclusive is what your gender identity is, your race and, race and ethnicity and sexual orientation. Those are the only factors they're considering for diversity. This info about YouTube channels helps us make sure our systems don't reflect unintentional bias. Again, they are apparently only asking about three different facts facets of you oh <laughs> uh, so we want to ensure that youtube is inclusive and works for everyone today the evaluation process of our systems is limited because we don't have identity information about the channels on youtube we don't have a way to eval evaluate at scale how our products and policies are working for channels of creator and artist com committees communities of a particular race and ethnicity gender identity or sexual orientation Note, we know that identity is personal. Sharing this information is optional. This setting provides us with identity data that we don't otherwise know about creators and artists channel on YouTube. Your survey response information will be stored with your YouTube channel and will not be used by other Google products. The information you give will not be used to impact an individual's video and individual videos or channel's performance on YouTube systems. How we'll use the demographic data. Uh, we will collect the data to evaluate how YouTube works for the channels of creators and artists who represent different communities. Again, it's only based on your gender, your race, and your sexual orientation. Uh, and I would really wish they would ask if you were conservative or not, if they really wanted to care how inclusive they were. Um, you know, do you identify yourself as a as a communist, a socialist, a liberal, a libertarian, um, conservative, you know, white supremacist, you know, they should just ask all those questions, right? Because, you know, it's not going to be used to harm you, right? Ah, <sighs> it will not be made public without your additional consent or used for advertising purposes. Without your additional consent. Well, I don't know how many times I've clicked on things where, you know, the terms of service are like a gazillion pages long and guilty of not reading all the fine print and figure, well, you know, it's just something I got to click on to be able to use the product. So that's a bit disconcerting because who knows when they might slip that in. All right. So how, uh, here are more details on how we'll use the data provided. We're going to examine how our ag algorithms and systems treat content from various communities. We will understand how various communities are growing on YouTube. Again, only with regard to those three um, measurements. Uh, identify potential harmful patterns of behavior, including harassment and hate. So is this a matter of whether you, the content creator is doing something or something, somebody's doing something to the content creator? So if content violates our hate and harassment policies, we remove it. But we've heard feedback that many creators are still affected by offensive and hurtful content and comment behavior. This data will proactively help us understand how various creator communities might be affected by this type of behavior. It will also improve our automated systems over time. 
improve our current programs, campaigns, and offerings. Uh, you can provide consent for us to use this information to extend invites to programs and events. This information may help us better understand our current programs, campaigns, and offerings. These offerings include programs like creator events and programs to help emerging creators grow. So it could be used to target individual channels based on your answers to those three questions that they will give preferential treatment to those. Um, we also conduct research with creators like focus groups, in-person feedback sessions, surveys, and other types of research. Through this work, we can bring creators' points of view to our product development teams. Again, they're only asking uh, supposedly three questions. The information from creator demographics will allow us to extend research invitations to more creators that reflect diversity, again, only those three questions, of communities on YouTube. Option to edit or delete your response info. So I suppose if your sexual orientation is fluid, maybe you could just go ahead and change that every now and then and see what happens. Read below for instructions on how to delete your response info. You can edit the information you provide about your identity, gender identity, race and ethnicity, and sexual orientation at any time. If you choose to edit or delete the info, it will not affect the performance of your content on YouTube. And then it goes into information on how to do that. All right, so let's see what these questions actually are. Let's view the survey. Oh, there are seven questions and it'll only take five minutes. All right, and also tell us if you're interested in those special programs. All right, and it's talking about how we'll use your info again, which I think is what we've already read, and you can delete your info at any time. So let's go ahead and see what questions they ask. Okay, we would like a response to this survey from the main creator artist talent who leads your challenge, your channel. We'll call this individual the channel's main lead. This means the main creator who leads content strategy and creation for the channel, the creator who is explicitly associated with the channel's name or brand, the main on-screen talent for your channel, including through video or voiceover. All right, so how many leads does your channel have? I, just me. Continue. All right, so like all the rest of them are all on the same thing. So I don't have to answer necessarily all of those and we can get to see what they all are. Okay, so here are the questions. Which of the following do you, the main lean, identify as? Select all that apply. And then it's a bunch of different um, race categorizations. Asian, Black, or African-American, Hispanic, Latino, Latina, Latinx, Middle Eastern or North African, Native American or Alaska Native, Pacific Islander, White, prefer to self-describe, prefer not to answer. Question number two, do you, the main lead, identify as a member of the LGBTQ plus community, including but not limited to uh, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, pansexual, and or asexual? Yes, no, not sure, or don't know, prefer not to answer. Which of the following do you, the main lead, identify as? Select all that apply. Woman, man, <laughs> non-binary, Prefer to self-describe, please specify, not sure or don't know, or prefer not to answer. Well, at least they've only got six different answers. Of course, if you know if you can self-describe, then that's unlimited. But uh, I think I heard that Facebook has like 57 different possible answers to um, uh, sexual uh, or to gender. So um, interesting. Uh, oh, I did not mean to click on that. Who knows what they... Uh, record even though you don't actually hit submit all right do you the main lead identify as transgender yes no not sure or don't know or prefer not to answer which of the following best describes this channel the channel is led by one or many individual creators this channel is led by an organization this channel represents a musical artist or band this channel is part of the portfolio of a traditional media company broadcaster publisher music label or brand other please specify and question number seven, do you want to be invited to specialized programs and cele celebrations based on your answers? If you select yes, we may contact you with opportunities to have your channel and or content featured and to participate in programs, events, research, and campaigns, specialized programs and celebrations that may include roundtable discussions, workshops, and or fundraising opportunities. Yes, opt me in or no, uh, not right now. I don't think I'm going to be filling that. I have participated in some surveys, things that, um, you know, they want to know if you are a veteran. 
Um, I think Etsy had, has that question. And, um, and so they do, um, uh, highlight veterans, um, I think during like, Memorial day and veterans day. Um, but yeah, they don't, they don't ask that. They don't ask, you know, your political views. I mean, it, it, when we talk about diversity of thought, the questions that they are asking are like the least relevant. That's my opinion. I'd love to hear your opinion on that. Please comment down below. If you are also a channel creator, let me know if you filled out the survey and if you have noticed anything, because apparently the survey has been around since March 21st. So um, apparently they're only rolling it out um, to certain segments at a time. So I'd love to know if you are a content creator, if you had uh, seen this tab in your settings and if you filled it out and if you noticed anything uh, different the way that uh, YouTube treats your channel or if you've been invited to participate in any of these programs. So anyhow, um, thank you very much for watching and uh, God bless. And uh, please follow me on my other channels as well. I have links in the uh, in the description, because who knows how long I may be here on YouTube. They don't seem to um, to value conservative voices. That is um, one thing I've definitely found. Um, now, God bless, and I will talk to you later. Bye.